Before I did my first film, I was doing a revival of room service uh, that George Abbott originally had, had uh, produced and directed uh, a million years before. And uh, it only ran a couple of weeks. Uh, we, we, we shut up the 48th Street Playhouse like a pistol shot. But uh, the actors got good reviews, and I got good reviews, fortunately. And uh, a fellow named Max Arno, a very sweet man from Columbia Pictures, um, heard about me. And they were looking for somebody to play opposite Judy Holliday. Uh, of Born Yesterday fame. Um, and so he had some executives from uh, Columbia Pictures in New York come see the show. And room service we're talking about. Yeah, room service. Right. They liked me, and they thought I might be very good for the lead opposite uh, Judy Holliday. And it should happen and to you. And it should happen to you, yeah. Terrible title. Right. It was it should, a fun picture. But though. it was a fun picture, yeah. And it was being directed by George Cukor, and it was written by Garson Kanan. Well, my whole attitude about film changed the minute I heard those two names, and plus Judy, especially. And uh, so I tested for it and got it. This may be 1953? And that, this was 53, yes, right. yeah. And we did the picture, and... Uh, Which was successful. Picture. Yeah, it was a successful picture. What was it like working with Judy Holliday? It was absolutely wonderful. She was just divine. Terrific. A unique talent? Absolutely unique. And, and one of the brightest actors that I've ever known. And she played dumb blondes. Right. But she was extraordinarily bright. She loved to play uh, intellectual games. Uh, she might have invented Scrabble. For instance, word games fascinated her. Crosswords and uh, word games of different kinds. And she was great fun to work with, let alone brilliant. And uh, when we were doing tests, and I was out here for the first few days, I asked her out for dinner, so I rented a car. She said, sure. And uh, someone gave me the name and address of a restaurant in the valley and Columbia Pictures and uh, the hotels and all of that were right in Hollywood and on this side of the, the mountains. And uh, so I, I picked her up at the house that she was renting and uh, followed directions. And I got all the way up to the top of the mountains at Mulholland Drive and got a flat tire. And I told her to stay in the car. I'd walk down and get help from a gas station and lock the doors and stay there. She said, OK. And um, so I started walking, and I walked, then I walked, then I walked, and then I gave up because I, I didn't realize this thing was just curves all the way down forever. Uh, I think it was Laurel Canyon. And uh, so now I, I trotted all the way back up, and I was exhausted, and I got to the car. And I thought, well, the hell with a flat tire or not, I'll coast on down there until we can get to a gas station. And I knocked on the window, and she unlocked the door, and I got in. And uh, I said, you all right? She said, I'm fine. Have you got a handkerchief? And I said, well, yeah. And I, I gave her my handkerchief. She started wiping her hands. And I said, what are you doing? She said, I changed it. <laughs> Didn't occur to me to change the tire. She did it. 